Kalispera, Kalispera, Kalispera. Good evening and welcome to my matrimonial agency where I'll help you find a suitor. To be quite honest with you, I'm the best for the job considering I have more than a hundred suitors. So you can trust me. And, oh well, you're probably wondering why do I, do I have so many pretenders, so many both? Well, the reason is quite simple, it's all because of that damn Trojan war. Yes, this war ruined my life. It was terrible, really. And <laughs> the worst is that just before the war started, I had a baby. Yes, horrible timing. Just when my husband, Odysseus, was called to fight in the war, my Telemachus was born. No, worse, there was. But anyway, that's basically how I ended up with so many suitors because my husband being so far away, so many people wanted to marry me, you know? Sorry, I didn't ask you. How are you? Tikanis. Good? Okay, back to me then. So yes, the Trojan War. It was actually quite hard. You know how in America people have this um, three days rule, I think, three day rule. Where it's like if you like someone, you're supposed to wait for like three days before calling them. Well, in ancient Greece, we have something that we call the 20 year rule. So I had to wait 20 years for my husband to come back to me. My husband, yes, what he says, oh, you probably know him by his Roman name, which is much more common. His Roman name is Ulysses. Ulysses, maybe, I don't know how you say that. Ulysses? Yes, Ulysses, what he says is the same. Anyway, yes, two decades. I used to be beautiful and young and now I'm all ripe and I mean I'm still gorgeous otherwise I wouldn't have so many suitors but you know time passed and well yes I ended up with no less than 108 suitors. I know so many. There was Antinous, there were there were Agelus, there were there was Amphinomus, there was Cletispus, there was Demoptolemus, there was Elatus, there was Oriades, there was Eurymachus, there was Peisandros, there was there was so many there were there were so many people I I'm not gonna list the 108 pretendants I had, it's way too, too many, but anyway, I had to delay over and over and over and over the marriage with one of my suitors, because obviously I was secretly hoping for my husband to come back, which he did after 20 years, but my point is, I'm the expert when it comes to draw man's attention and never giving them anything. These guys waited for me to like marry one of them for 20 years they wooed me for 20 years so i think i'm kind of like the expert when it comes to find the best suitor and keep him around until a better suitor comes back okay. Okay. Now, um i want to ask you what kind of guy you like and i'm gonna write all this info in my little book Oh yes, we used to, we used to uh, write on um, papyrus and parchment, but you know, it's 2018, so now I can just get a normal notepad. So I'm gonna write on this. So tell me everything. What do you do? You like it? Tall guys or short guys? Tall, obviously. Now, do you like guys who are like really? Um, Strong as in like very um, muscular, you know, someone who, you know, 
works out a lot, you know, goes to the gymnasium, yes, okay, yes, you like the Olympic kind of guy, you know we invented these games, right, yes, I'm, I'm proud of it, okay, so, like someone really fit, someone athletic, you would say, okay, actually, that reminds me of one of my suitors, Yes, there was this one. I think I mentioned him earlier. What was his name? Mm. That's right Antinous Antinous, son of Ephaestus Apetus. Yes, son of Apetus This was so long ago. I can't remember everything obviously. So anyways um, so There was this guy and he was so violent so violent mean-spirited and overconfident such a jerk. Oh, he worked out all right. He was ripped. He was, uh, he was ripped and I'm right. No, he was. <laughs> that body was a oh, yummy body. He was a complete jerk. He defiled my house while Ulysses was away. I mean, the man even tried to kill my son. Yes. He tried to kill my Telemachus. Why? Well, I don't know, but he... I mean... Oh, for Zeus' sake. Oh, oh my gods and goddesses. It was a terrible time. But fortunately, Athena helped us. Athena helped us. And she helped my son, uh, you know, avoid the trap that Antinous had, you know, sad for him to die. And yeah, anyway, it all turned out well. But Antinous was simply the worst. I mean, at first glance, you'd be like, oh, wow, he's, you know, a good-looking fellow. But then you realize it's just, you know, his physical appearance. Like, he's actually a total a-hole. Actually, I even heard that once he mugged a hobo. I swear it's true, he did. And after that, after mugging a hobo and trying to kill my son, he expects me to marry him. I mean, how overconfident is that jerk? I don't know. It's He was the worst. Anyway, he kind of like ended up dead. So, yeah, my husband killed him with, I think, an arrow in the throat. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. But I don't think that this is exactly what you want to go for. You don't want to go for, like, the muscular type. That would definitely deserve, like, that would be a problem, I reckon. So, no, I think what you better do is to find someone who's, like, really mm, sensitive. A guy who knows how to listen. A guy who knows how to give. A giver. Yes. So you like that? Okay. List me all the qualities that you like in a guy. You know, generosity, humor, kindness. Okay. Oh, that that's not gibberish. That's that's how Greek write. Don't defend my alphabet. Okay. So. Oh. I, yeah. I see a pattern here. I think you like what is commonly called a nice guy. And you know what? Nice guys are not nice. I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. I'll give you an example. So there was this suitor of mine. I know, again, um, his name was Amphinomus, Amphinomus, son of King Nessos. Yes, he was a prince. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so Amphinomus was the definition of a nice guy. He, how can I say that? Like, he was a great listener, and, you know, he's the kind of guy who, like, helps you carry your pan flute, 
and he fills your horn with wine whenever it's empty and like he would basically say anything to get in your tunic yes he, it's like he thinks that he's kind of your basic and expected politeness can be traded for sex please as if he was like nice for the hell of it no he was nice because he wanted to sleep with me and he almost had me i mean he was the best behaved of all my suitors and to be quite fair he actually tried to prevent the organized murder of my son so i mean that's good but i don't know you know and the ironic thing is that even though he was the one who was trying to prevent my son's murder he died by the hands of my son a tragic story anyways no you don't want a nice guy you don't want someone like that you want you want someone who's more hmm, like more of a man who's more masculine and you know what i mean like not someone who's just like telling you anything just to you know please you know you want someone who's confident in what they're thinking so how about someone who's actually really clever you know someone smart someone who has his way with words yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah that's that's good I'm still writing. Okay, well, I mean, I have nothing against um, clever men, but I do have some kind of experience with someone like that. another of my suitors, obviously. Um, uh, what was his name? Eurymachus. Yes, Eurymachus, son of Polybus. Oh man, he was such a fuckboy. Like, I swear. First off, he was a nobleman. And like, obviously, everyone likes noblemen. I mean, they're like, from the nobility. Like, we, everyone likes that. But he was arrogant, he was disrespectful, he only came to my house to drink and eat and drink and eat and drink and eat and drink and eat and drink and eat. Yes. Yes. And he was so damn smart. He was so clever. I mean, he, yes, he really did have his way with words. He lied to me shamelessly. He told me that he was my closest friend. He lied to my son and he was actually one of the men who initiated the attempted murder on my son, Telemachus. So that guy pretended to be like my best friend and he literally stabbed me, well not literally, metaphorically stabbed me in the back. So, and that's not even the worst. I mean, killing my son is one thing, trying to kill my son because he failed, but trying to kill my son is one thing. But the worst is that he slept with my maid my favorite maid i'm not kidding i'm not kidding yes yes he was and you know she was my favorite of all melanto oh, i mean she was always a sharp tongue bitch but i treated her like my own daughter and that's how she thanked me she just uh, sleeps with all my suitors and her free time during her free time and that's just unacceptable i mean i'm okay with the fact that there are women that are younger than me more beautiful than me and i mean that's okay but what's not okay is when my suitors sleep with my mates why because i might not like my suitors and i might not want to have anything to do with them and i might want to make them wait for 20 years until they're like slaughtered by my husband and my son but they're still my suitors, they're mine, so no one is allowed to sleep with them. No one is allowed to kiss them, no one is allowed to talk to them. They're supposed to worship me like the queen that I am. So yes, after trying to kill my son and sleeping with my mate, that jerk 
still wanted to marry me. Can you believe it? So no, I don't think a smart guy is what you want. A smart guy is definitely off the list. <sighs> anyway, let's see, I am the example of fidelity, of oh, chastity, of patience, of loyalty. I waited for years and some bad people said I was ambivalent because apparently i would have asked the goddess artemis to kill me because i was so sad that ulysses was never coming home and apparently at the same time i was considering marrying one of my suitors which i kind of was because i did choose a game to you know because that's the thing when you have too many suitors and i think 108 is too many suitors you kind of have to like you know choose you kind of like push it back forever you can't just delay it forever because i didn't know how to choose i organized this game it was so stupid whoever who could you know string my husband richard bow and shoot an arrow through 12 axe heads would be able to marry me but the thing is you know you probably don't know that about me but i love muscular men i love strong men and i thought a strength game a game that is based on your strength is an excellent way to find a husband i don't care if the guy is like intelligent caring stupid a cheater like a liar no i want to know if he can flex and that's why i chose this game to you know choose one of my suitors and then it so happened that my husband was there this guy's as a hobo and then he won the game obviously and then he killed everyone Anyways, I was lucky, lucky he was there, because otherwise I would have been forced to marry someone else, and I didn't want to marry anyone else. Oh, but back to you. Yeah, so the bad news is, I don't think I have anyone for you, because you seem to hate every type. You said you didn't want someone who was overconfident, you didn't want someone who um, who's a great listener, you don't like nice guys, you don't like strong guys, you don't like intelligent guys, and what do you want me to do for you? Just too difficult. Uh, I don't think I can help you, unfortunately. What I can eventually... Well, you could pray to the goddess of love, but she doesn't do much. I think your best bet would be to pray Athena because she... Athena is... Well, she's always kind of listening. I think she's kind of bored and she likes to, you know, interfere with human, li human life, so... Yeah, the other gods don't really care. So you just pray Athena and ask her to, you know, like, help you meet some hot guy. And she'll probably be better help than me because you're just too picky. And you're gonna end up alone if you keep that up. Anyway, um, our time is up, so... Goodbye, and, well, thank you for coming. Evaristo. <laughs> That's how we say, we say thank you in Greek. Efaristo. Efaristo. And, oh, oh no, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. Paracalo. You're welcome. It's, no. I had a good time trying to help you, so, yeah. Goodbye.